what we have here is the standard creatinine clearance formula. It may look a little bit different than something you've seen in the book, and that's because um, in the numerator, I'm using total uh, milligrams of creatinine rather than the traditional uh, urine volume and uh, creatinine concentration in that urine volume. So that's just uh, concentration times volume just equals amount of creatinine, which is what I have. Uh, the trick in this case is finding how much uh, creatinine in the urine there is. Um, the total amount of creatinine in the urine is going to be equal to the creatine that the uh, bodybuilder is eating plus their endogenous creatinine. Um, standard long-term doses of creatine are going to be about three grams a day where there's wide variation in usage. And you'll see uh, some patients using as, as much as 20 grams a day. So I'm just using kind of a standard and modest dose. Endogenous creatinine is 20 milligrams per kilogram in men. Um, and so uh, you can multiply that out for a hypothetical 70 kilogram patient you'll never see. You get 1.4 grams. Add that together, you get 4.4 grams. Um, our units need to be in milligrams, so that's 4,400 milligrams. We'll substitute that back into the above formula, and it'll look like this. And for this exercise, we actually want to calculate the serum creatinine. And that's just algebra. We'll be able to swap those. Um, and we'll get a formula that looks like this. Uh, we're going to substitute in a stone-cold normal GFR of 125 cc's per minute, or creatinine clearance of 125 cc's per minute. And so it looks like this, and you can just do your multiplication. You get 440,000 in the numerator and 180,000 in the denominator, which comes out to a serum creatinine of 2.4 for a person taking 3 grams of creatine a day and having a GFR of 125 cc's a minute, normal. But that serum creatinine of 2.4 is going to be automatically calculated um, by the uh, uh, lab, and they're going to tell you that the patient has a GFR of 33 cc's per minute. And, you know, if anybody sees a GFR of 33 in a previously healthy uh, patient, they should be very alarmed and think of a cult wing disease. And so these patients oftentimes show up in 